there are some questions on, I'd like to ahead. ask you. Um, and this is I say the, the first one is uh, like and you can pass on any oh. of the questions. Don't feel obliged. But the first one is one that I've been asked recently, um, and I really liked it. So I'm mm-hmm. interested, Ahmad. Um, what is your elevator pitch for less? My elevator pitch is to, I never pitch any organization to use less. I always recommend they don't use less. And that's always been my pitch. I, I say that, first of all, if you want deep, meaningful change and you're willing to go through extreme pain to get there, and it's going to take two years before you see some real fruit, and I don't, by real fruit, I don't mean team standing up or post-it notes going up on the wall. I mean a difference, a palpable difference in the value creation of the organization. If you're willing to bear extreme pain and you're willing to, and, and there's a real compelling reason to change and not just because senior management said you should go agile and you're willing to wait two years before you bear some fruit, then, then consider using something like less. So my pitch has always been not to use less. And that's been probably the most effective pitch I've found for organizations to use less. Is the, is the, Why do you think it's been effective? Is it, is it simple reverse it's, psychology? It's not, or is it's, it's not reverse to... psychology. I deeply mean it. And, and I have enough scars to know that the majority of organizations are well-intentioned and want to change, but they're either don't have a real sense of urgency to change or, or a compelling purpose to change, or by the very nature of companies, the, if you look at them systemically, since we're both less trainers, the majority of companies we work with take a quarterly view which is to say they are mm-hmm. a slave to, maybe slave is the wrong term, I shouldn't co-opt that term. They are a, um, they're very reactionary to the quarterly stock price of the company, which means taking very, very long horizon type change efforts is very, very difficult for most organizations. Uh, with the exception of some founder-led organizations, and some notable ones are Tesla, Amazon. Uh, it, it used to be Goldman Sachs because of their partnership model. But basically, the real thrust behind most of these organizations is efficiencies. You know, they need efficiencies. And so they're not structurally created to be able to weather the storm of a two year, two year, I, I want to call it two years of pain or loss of productivity, et cetera. And so I think the reason the pitch works, is it's authentic. It's really, it's, it's authentic. I really tell people choose safe because it is safe for your careers. I've seen a lot mm-hmm. of senior leaders get in trouble over w- trying to push less on the organization that either didn't really want it or didn't, wasn't ready for that kind of disruptive change. And so, so, you know, my advice for you from a career standpoint is don't use less unless you have a real meaningful, compelling reason to change. Reminds me of um, a realization that I had a few years back was that the best time to consider any of this is when you want to, but don't need to. The, the, the moment you need to, then your motivations are going to be totally Well, scary. eventually all companies will need to change. And because, look, NFTs are a reality. I, I mostly work with banks and you can see, you know, you can see the iceberg straight ahead. You know, it's, you see it and it's getting closer and closer and eventually there's going to be an incredibly compelling reason to change. And, and yeah, in, in many cases, it's going to be too late for uh, some organizations to pivot. Some are starting to pivot right now. Some are really well-intentioned but structurally incapable. Um, some are not willing to make the sacrifices 
it's almost like governments, you know, some governments are headed towards, you know, financial ruin, but they almost cannot make or bear to create the change required because they have to get elected in two years or four years. And so if they yeah. raise taxes and and take away services and do all of the things required to write, they're not going to get elected. And there's a lot of the same dynamic in large organizations. Yeah. So my pitch to most companies is don't use less. It's a brilliant new authentic pitch, but I think it helps because you're, you're a brilliant new authentic <laughs> person. I think it, it probably helps that it comes from you. I'm not sure if I'd be so successful. You're, you're very kind. Um, <laughs> well, I did when when someone asked me the question. I said, "Well, you know," um, I said, "Don't." I said, "Don't use it." Um, they're like, "Yeah, yeah, that's not going to work." Can you give me a better one? So then I thought, "Okay, well, if I was, uh, if I, if my life depended on it, how would I sell it?" Um, like I came up with something which is apparently much better, but I, I could never repeat it. <laughs> anyway, um, you might have answered yeah. this question before when you were kind of giving your uh, intro to yourself, but would you say that you chose less or less? I would say chose less you? chose me just by virtue of bumping into Craig and really being impressed by Craig. And yeah, I, it was all happenstance. It was not, I did not go like searching or Googling for something. I just Gordon got Craig and I, mm -hmm. you know, he had me at your waist. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a there's there's definitely a pattern with this um, less trainers about the ones which I think uh, ended up doing something which was less before less was yeah. less if that makes sense.